Good evening and thank you for joining us for our virtual launch of the Shepparton Art Museum. We Greater Shepparton City Council acknowledge the Yorta Yorta peoples of the land which now comprises Greater Shepparton. We pay our respect to their tribal elders, we celebrate their continuing culture and we acknowledge the memory of their ancestors. From conception to completion, this has been an eight year journey and tonight we are finally opening to the public. It is the result of a great deal of hard work, of dedication, of inspiration and has involved a great many number of donors and supporters, both public and private. This amazing support has come from a federal level, a state level, as well as significant contributions from the regional government, First Nations peoples and indeed to the diverse communities and many great people of the Golden Valley. Tonight we welcome you on a journey to meet the people, to understand the process and experience and the final result. First and foremost, we'd like to hear from our Deputy Prime Minister, the Honourable Barnaby Joyce, and Danny Pearson, our State Minister for Creative Industries. Your local member, Damien Drum, member for Nichols, has been doing a power of work for his electorate, and especially for the City of Shepparton. The $15 million he got for the Shepparton Art Museum helped build a $50 million project. Additionally, then got, went out and got a further $266,000 for the Sam First Nations Art, Artist Residence and Enhanced Engagement Program. Um, what an incredible building now you have on Victoria Park Lake. It's, it's going to be a key focus when people come into town, have a look around. It's, a green, it's also got an incredibly good star rating with the Green Building Council of Australia. And beyond the art gallery, it allows it to be a community hub, visitor information centre, provider of the uh, home for Kriela Arts and pr present Indigenous art and support local Indigenous artists. Uh, I think that this is the sort of thing that shows people who come up from Melbourne or down from Sydney or <laughs> down from Tamworth a capacity to understand what happens in the Shepparton area. I know that Damien Drum is going to continue working so hard for the Shepparton area and for the people of Nichols just like he has. Uh, I hope that this building becomes a focus point so that when people come into your great city, they can see so much in the cultural form, in the information form, and even as an adornment on the Victoria Park Lake of why Shepparton is a great place to live. I'm delighted to join you today to celebrate what is the culmination of years of planning, dreaming and building. The new Shepparton Arts Museum is a world-class space that will feature amazing exhibitions and support artists at all levels. It will be a cultural meeting place, a place of expression, a place to gather and to celebrate. Importantly, it will connect strongly to Shepparton's traditional owners and First Peoples. As a new home for Kayela Arts, it will showcase and celebrate First Peoples art and artists. With the state set to emerge from the challenges of the, of the pandemic, it will soon be time for visitors to rediscover Victoria. And this new museum will play a critical role in attracting visitors from within our state and beyond. I congratulate everyone involved in bringing the new Shepparton Art Museum to life. This project has been a true partnership between all levels of government and the museum. Funding has been provided by the Federal Government, the Greater Shepparton City Council and the Victorian Government. It has also been generously supported by fundraising and philanthropic donations, a remarkable effort driven by the SAM Foundation and I thank everyone who has contributed. In particular, I'd like to acknowledge the one and only Carilla Gantner, whose extraordinary gift of Aboriginal artworks form an important part of this museum to be enjoyed by all. There is so much to celebrate today, and there's even more to come with a healing garden, playground, and more to be delivered early next year. Sam is set to become one of Victoria's most iconic art destinations, and is a wonderful new addition to our creative state. And I, for one, can't wait until I get to see you there. Thank you so very much. Without the support of our state and federal governments, this outcome could not be what it is today, so thank you. So now let's meet some of the key local people, the architects, the builders, the collaborators and the team that have all helped to make this dream become a reality. Enjoy the journey.
I'm Auntie Faye Lynham. I'm a proud Yorta Yorta woman. I'd like to welcome you all here today on the land we're standing on, the Yorta Yorta Nation. Elders, past and present, and the emerging. This artist centre is absolutely wonderful. Art to our people is amazing. Taught a lot of things, and you have a look at a lot of caves up in New South Wales. You can see pictures of the first fleets coming into Australia. So there's a lot of history behind it, and so very proud of it. We should keep on going with their art. Thank you very much. Mulana, Yenpana, Nangana Mulana, Yenpana, Nangana Mulana, Picture, Nangana Mulana, Lambra, Lambra, Donga, Rota Chumuch, Nangana Mulana, Waka, Walla, Nangana Mulana, Yakapna, Yakapna, near Rama, Nangana Mulana, Picture. Welcome everyone, we are absolutely delighted to launch the opening of the Shepparton Art Museum and I will tell you the space just looks incredible. We are so excited now to think the building is finished and we want to invite you in the doors. It's going to be a cultural hub, it's going to be community celebration, we know incredible art but so much more and so much is going to happen here for everybody and I welcome you so sincerely into this beautiful space. It's really the dawn of a new era. It signifies an evolution of where Shepparton has come to in the sense that really the city has grown. We now have a cultural icon that's going to identify that we've really grown and we've become something that will be recognised not only nationally and probably internationally as having great artwork and being a place to come to. It'll be a place where a lot of people will just actually come and meet. Well, Shepparton's very good at agriculture and Shepparton's very good at sport, but it's less renowned for its ability to showcase its art and its culture and certainly its Indigenous art. This gallery here gives it the opportunity to do exactly that. The Aboriginal art here in, in this community of Shepparton is very important, not only for the local Aboriginal people but also to Torres Strait Islander people who reside here in Shepparton as well. We see our culture and we want to share that with everyone. When you look back in the past history of Aboriginal people, there has been a lot of trauma in uh, Aboriginal people's lives. And part of that uh, healing is coming to this gallery here, which is an environment that everyone feels welcome. For all the different communities and cultures that are within the city of Greater Shepparton, it's an opportunity to bring them together, uh, to collaborate and work on different projects that may mean something to them and then hold the exhibitions that are relevant to those various cultures. Shepparton in the Golden Valley is one of the most multicultural spaces in Victoria and, and Australia. We have over 40 different language groups in the area and we have one of the largest Aboriginal populations uh, in Australia. And the arts is a common language. It tells people stories. It gives people a chance to experience other people's cultures. The Shepparton Art Museum came as a concept eight years ago when Carrillo Gantner came to the Shepparton Council and offered a major collection of Aboriginal art if Shepparton would develop a standalone facility to, to house it uh, and to create something that was a, a major venue for Shepparton and a, a, an art space and a cultural space. But it required a lot of work to get funding for it of course and we got uh, state and federal funding for that and the local council came on board as well and we had the Shepparton Art Museum Foundation which was established to try and create some funds for it as well from donors locally and around the, the country. Well right at the very start of the whole federal campaign it was a good timing because this project was on the books and I had the opportunity to deliver $10 million at the very very start of this project and that's why I'm very very proud to be a part of this whole building. The local government put in funds, the state government has contributed, the federal government, and perhaps more significantly than anything, this community. People have given of their own money through philanthropy to make this happen. 
We're very grateful for our donors. They've been fantastic in coming forward. We've got over 300 donors we've had locally that have been uh, putting their hand in the pocket to make sure that this is a viable proposition. Uh, their names will all be recognised uh, within the donor board. We've obviously moved what was an existing museum to a huge big building, moving to where we may have blockbuster exhibitions so that people really see the vision of what SAM is in the future and they come for the journey along with us. Moving from where we were originally into here now, it's lifted the profile of KLR art and also it's lifted the profile of the Aboriginal people doing their artwork as well. The architects that were involved in this project, Denton Cork and Marshall, they are internationally renowned architects. They have work in Venice and uh, they did the Balti Bridge, uh, Jeff Shedd, to name a few of the spaces that they have uh, created. And this design is extremely contemporary. It's something that uh, is now built within the landscape, the uh, Orchard Hill that comes up to the side of the building, the amphitheatre that faces out towards the lake and the, the light and the window looking out over the Golden Valley. It just brings the whole valley into the building. It had to be something that symbolised Shepparton. It had to be a cultural contribution for Shepparton, something that would stand out. A cubic form that went up five storeys and going tall meant it becomes much more of a signal coming into town. And each face was a, therefore a panel, and each panel is a different coloured metal or material and the plate and the veranda, the L shapes that we created. But, you know, you, you go down the main street and all the shops have the verandas to provide a bit of shade it was one of the ideas behind the nature of it. And we made a determination that we'd locate the Indigenous Art Centre looking out onto the lake because it gave them the opportunity to have a, a space of their own. And a first big exhibition is Lynn Onis, who's a, a Yorta Yorta man. I mean, he's from that area and it's symbolic, I think. Once you enter the building, the towering light-filled atrium spaces form before you. As you make your way up through the stairs, you'll get views of the lake through the western facade before standing on the level four balcony watching the sunset over the lake. To create a space for the community to come to, to create an entrance that people just walked through and went wow. We created a, a sort of a, a public space right through the centre of the building. The stairs go up and then the stairs continue up and then the galleries are off to either side. But on, on the gallery a space through the middle, we've got big windows at each end that let the light come through. People will walk into this space in awe to see what they have been able to create. It's a welcome to country, the space downstairs, the floor actually has many of the local Aboriginal styles literally within the floor, the concrete floor, the design of it. So it's a space that welcomes you onto this land, onto the Yorta Yorta land and the, and the people that uh, have been here for millennia. Shepparton as a regional city is a very diverse city and we're multicultural in so many ways, but our Aboriginal community here is the largest outside of Melbourne. The celebration of Aboriginal art that is reflected in this place is truly astounding. Not only do we have the Kayla Gallery, but we have the donated art collection from Carrillo Gantner. We also have the function area up, up the top, the function space uh, and the bar, and also we have the performance space of the Margaret Atwood Hall, which is uh, a fantastic dynamic space with um, fantastic acoustics for performances, uh, the conferences and also functions can go in this space. People are coming here not only to see artwork but also that social side where they can sit in the cafe, whether it's catching up with one another or maybe reflecting on what they've seen in the gallery. Not only that, it is a six star green building. This has put us on the world map as far as architectural is concerned. What it is actually presenting is an opportunity because of the size of it and the layout to do so much more than what the actual former art gallery could do. For example, there's Kayla Arts been here, the Visitors Information Centre, we have the cafe. But above and beyond that, the museum has so many different galleries, um, various aspects where we can have different displays. There's a VCE, you'll see artwork in the background here on display. There's a children's gallery, so a dedicated gallery for that. There's a main exhibition gallery. We have the art mural up on the fourth level. On top of that, we have an artist in residence as well. So this museum is just not one thing, it's many things and bringing all of that together is just so exciting and the community will just be wowed by it when they come in here. Very few other regional centres could boast a building like this. This is a building for the future and it blends in beautifully to the whole landscape around it. 
So you imagine yeah. when you come up here that it's just going to be such a big open space. Yeah. So when you come up the stairs, you, that view is just amazing, isn't it? When you look at it here, it's just incredible. So John, how do you think people are going to react to this amazing space when they come through those doors? I think they're going to react with awe. I mean, when you look at the staircase and the great big ambiance of the whole windows and the, the art on all of the walls, it's just going to be awe-inspiring. I think Kim, it'll actually be somewhere where people want to be, whether it's come viewing the artwork or whether it's going into the cafe. This is something that's going to put Shepparton on the map internationally. This shows that Shepparton is open for business. Shepparton have its own world-class art gallery. It's going to be a driver for the whole economy. We could see the greater benefits coming to the uh, Shepparton and the Greater Golden Valley. We've always had very big aspirations. This has exceeded those aspirations. I'm very proud to think we've been able to have such an incredible building within our community. Welcome. People end up coming to Shepparton to catch up with friends, to do their business, and then to go and see whatever's on at Sam. <laughs> Shepparton is a growing, progressive community and this is the gateway to our town. The doors are open, we welcome you here. This is your space for all of us to enjoy. I'm looking forward to the doors opening. So there you go. Yes, we are all so excited for the people and artists of Greater Shepparton. We very much look forward to seeing some amazing exhibitions, experiences and of course welcoming you. Now we declare the Shepparton Art Museum open and we welcome you to enjoy. Thank you.
Thank you. 